close the door? Should I leave it open? Welcome back, everybody. I need an intro because... Alright, so this video is going to be a week in my life. A refresh, restart for the new year. Today's January 8th, and um, I haven't been home for like basically a month. Um, I went to go visit my mom. I believe it was like December 17th or 18th around there and then I barely got home yesterday December 7th so not a month but like it felt like it because it was a really long time so we're gonna start off this vlog with a little story time of what recently happened to me yesterday so basically I was at my cousin's house yesterday um, I well I arrived at her house on the 6th at like 9 p.m. from dog sitting I had gone back from dog sitting I guess I'll just Oh, this is perfect actually. Okay, so yeah, I basically got, got to her apartment complex at like 9 p.m. And her apartment complex is like gated and more strict on parking compared to like where I live. There's no designated parking. I guess they passed this like new rule at her complex starting on the 6th of January. Yeah, my luck. That they will tow your car if it's not in the right spot so basically i had asked my cousin like is it okay if i park in this spot it's like the shaded spot and she's like yeah no worries like it's fine so i was like okay and i had recently parked there like on january 1st or like the 31st of december for new year's and nothing happened to my car like it was fine <sighs> so i thought nothing of it like oh my car is fine like i'm parking in the same exact spot that i was when i was here like not that long ago so I get there the 6, 9 p.m. and then the next day everything's fine like I'm just chilling at her apartment I haven't cleaned it because I had like nothing else to do it was just a good day and then I went on a walk and I came back and I went to glance at my car just to like you know make sure it was there and from the angle I couldn't see it and I was like oh I'm pretty sure it's there let me just go walk up to it <laughs> nope my car was not there it was gone and I was like okay great start to the year you know I tried not to freak out and I tried not to get mad and I think I did a pretty good job because I kind of just was like silent I just was like I don't have any words I just want to get my car and also the towing company shout out to you for ripping me off for charging me three hundred and seventy dollars and on top of that, if my car was left overnight, not because I'm just, not for a choice, but like if I wasn't able to get my car before they closed at 5 p.m., they were gonna charge an extra $100 just to keep it overnight. Like what kind of scam doll? I don't know what I was trying to say with that, but what kind of company is that? That is so rude. Well, that is not the end of the story. Not only did I pay $370 just to retrieve my car and you know what the real kicker is so I got there th this is all over the place but I had gone at her apartment at 9 p.m. they towed my car at 1 in the morning so my car was only there for five hours before they towed my car and I was like wow <laughs> wow so yeah um so I get my car, I can see it from the impound basically, and it looks fine, I'm like, oh, you know, my car is looking in pristine condition, like, my baby, it's fine. And then, as I'm getting my paperwork for my car, Mark notices a scratch on my car. And I was like, this is the last straw for me. Like, it's one thing to tow my car, I will pay the money, like, it's fine, you know, it was my fault. I should have double checked, I should have triple checked. And I should have parked somewhere else. You know, a lot of things could have happened. But to damage my car, that I cannot forgive. Like, that is, that's just another inconvenience. So, there's a big ass scratch on my car now, on the trunk. And my insurance is not going to cover it because previously in June, my car got scratched, like, really bad on the hood. And that got covered by my insurance. And that was, like, six months ago. I don't know what it is with people scratching my car, but they just love to do it. I don't know. Why can't I catch a break, you know what I'm saying? That was horrible. 
that is the worst feeling ever going out to see your car or like you're expecting your car to be there and it's missing like that is just my car was violated it was just stolen and I have to pay to take it back but it's fine you know like I said you gotta learn from your lessons and I definitely learned my lesson one day I can laugh at this <laughs> besides that inconvenience that annoying really annoying inconvenience I have some plans since I've been home well I barely got home last night after that happened I was like I'm going home that is the last straw I need to get out of here like I just need to go home and it feels good like I missed my bed the purple mattress is literally the best mattress ever like I have had back pain like I normally have a little back issue on my lower back but it gets accentuated when I sleep like on a couch or on other mattresses that aren't mine and so ever since I've been gone December 17th from now I have had the worst back pain like the worst like I've been sitting and driving and it hurts just to sit there and I was gonna go to the acupuncturist or a chiropractor to like get whatever is going on fixed but uh, that's gonna have to get postponed since my poor car has to get worked on what this video is really about is a refresh getting like my life back together getting organized all that type of jazz so first things first is to clean my entire apartment nice fresh clean start to the new year and then I need to go grocery shopping because obviously there's no groceries in this house I also um, want to take everything out of my trunk because I've been living out of my car for a long time now since I haven't been home and just get organized with all that stuff and then I feel like I had more to say I started this vlog on Friday, uh, January 8th, and then basically the weekend I didn't do any cleaning, but I'll tell you what I did do because it was a lot of fun. So Isaac has the weekends off now, so we had a lot of fun. We went on Saturday, we went to the flea market or like the mar a marketplace or a swap me, I guess you could say. Um, but it's like an indoor marketplace right next to our house where they have like food and clothes and jewelry, like a whole ass swap me basically so that was a lot of fun and then on Sunday we went to the beach to Laguna Beach really nice refreshing beautiful we saw the sunset and it was just so nice and that's what we did for the weekend I guess I didn't do the cleaning I did get some groceries um but that's about it as of like being productive because the weekend was just time to have fun and um, I hadn't seen Isaac for a while, so I just want to have fun, you know? So now we're on Monday. Monday is the day when most people clean, get their lives back together, fresh start for the week. So the plan is, the goal for today, I know I'm not going to get everything done, so I for sure want to take down the Christmas decorations because they are overdue. And I want to pick up the living room, clean the kitchen, and maybe do some productive things on my laptop also I have an interview tomorrow like a zoom interview for a job so wish me luck hopefully i get it if not it's fine we'll see what happens but i need to get my space clean for that because you know that'd be awkward if there was some like dirty sock in the background off in the interview so let me show you the state of the apartment it's really not that bad so first of all this is our windowsill and I want to wipe it down because it's really, really dusty. And then the bedroom, just need to make the bed, pick up a few things. Surprisingly, the bedroom is the least messiest, just a couple random things. Let's just leave. Then, this is all our dirty clothes. The bathroom, really not that bad. Um, just a few dirty things, gotta clean the tub and stuff and the toilet and then the living room the big mamba over here really I've seen a lot worse so it's just a bunch of stuff like 
that is from when I came back from the desert and just like I didn't put anything away and yeah here's our Christmas tree I don't even think you guys have seen it I want to show you guys some cute ornaments my mom got me this ornament for Christmas and it is so dang cute it's a little mushroom gnome house and then I got this one just here as well but I got it myself I see a new ornament every year just to add to the collection that's clean and then this has got to go and also I want to show you guys a new addition to our family I got this beautiful plant uh, I think when on Saturday at Home Depot it's a Montessera or Monstera plant or something along those lines but it's really pretty and they get really big like humongous we need to take down the Christmas lights that are outside. Hopefully no one's out here because that would be awkward. Yeah, we have a bunch of Christmas lights. And that plant has to go. It's it's dead. It's done. Now let me show you the kitchen. Also, this mirror, it's a mirror. Um, it's going to go right here. And that, I don't know, it's going to go somewhere else. But this, soon it's going to get put up. Okay, so this is overview of the kitchen probably the worst part um all this junk has got to go i just cleaned the stove but you know when you cook food gets it everywhere then this all these dishes are basically from last night's dinner and then yeah those are clean dishes so and we got a soup and mop because i don't know if you can tell but it's like really dirty over there so yes that's the gist of the vibes right now Cafe vibes. Let's get it, everybody. Good morning everybody. I hope you liked me struggling to set up the camera. Wouldn't it be so nice if I could just be like, boop, and start recording, but no, in reality I had to actually get out of bed and I had to go to the kitchen to get the camera. But that's okay. So today, let me show you, I changed my screensaver so I want to show you guys. Take a gander. Look how cute it is. And let me show you the one on the inside it says just live your life I like to change up my screensavers every so often but today <sighs> today is January 14th 2021 um, today's Thursday so this vlog has been in process for like a long ass time already I think I'm gonna end it today but we need to finish up the cleaning of the apartment. So basically, I've been cleaning periodically. I haven't been filming every second because 
like yesterday I didn't really film but I did a clean a lot. I took down the Christmas tree and the decorations. So let's go do that. Let me show you a little a little O O T D Oh my god oh. Get yourself a purple mattress king size best investment you'll ever do the best investment I ever did my hair I, ow fuck my toe <laughs> look I cleaned the windowsill and I cleaned the windows cheers mate okay first let me show you the status so obviously the bed's a mess nothing is really changing here except it's a bunch more crap in the room but it's mainly clothes, so it's not that big of a deal. This is still dirty clothes. We're not even gonna go back. We're not even going in there because it has not changed. But the big improvement is the living room. So I don't know why Isaac loves to leave his drawers open, but it's like his specialty. So I put away the decorations, but I need to tape it up and put it in the garage, and then that's going in the garage. Basically, recycle. And then that's clean clothes, my beautiful plants, the kitchen. I actually swept and mopped the floor. You probably can't tell, but I did. And then I cleaned up the table. It looks really bland in here because I took down the fall decorations. And then I actually cleaned the stove um, the other day. There's just a couple random spots of the counter that need to be cleaned. That's just standard. I did the dishes last night, but you know, they still accumulate and then those are all clean And then I flipped the rug around. See it's nice and clean right here. I cleaned. I organized the fridge I actually wiped it down organized it and if you're wondering why we have a big-ass ham It's a long story, but I'm gonna be donating it to a soup kitchen because there's no goddamn way that kind of didn't really make sense, but there's no way that we're gonna eat that. Here's a beautiful array of pictures. That's me in my prime, you know? I've never looked better with the fan bam. But actually, you know what the first thing is that I'm gonna do? <coughs> Besides annoying my dad in the video. <laughs> I'm gonna do some yoga. So come on, let's wake up and do some yoga, shall we? Alright, we finally finished cleaning the entire apartment. I'm gonna do a quick tour and now it's gonna be it because I'm running out of storage. So let me show you our sparkling clean apartment. So the bedroom, most basic part of the apartment. There's nothing else in here besides the bed, the backpacks, my purses. Then I have my jumbo of dirty laundry. And shockingly, the restroom is really organized right now, so those makeup brushes are just being cleaned right now, so they're not going to be there. But look, my junk drawer, it's no longer a junk drawer. It's so organized, like, even down here. And then I still need to clean the bathtub and the toilet, but I swept, and it's looking pretty good in here. Let me take you to the living room. Also, our linens cabinet is so organized right now. It's so satisfying. My blankets, and then that could use some work, but that's for another time. Then we have the coat closet. That was always organized. And then the living room. It's looking super plain right now, but we need to add some decor, like on that wall, some decorative pillows. 
all that is going to the garage so do not mind that now for the kitchen just have our skateboards right there some decor that stupid mirror it needs to go up and then everything is super clean I think I sort of showed you guys earlier, but yep. Okay, well, that's the end of the video. I'm going to log off now. I've been cleaning literally for like a whole week straight. Like, no lie, no joke, no cap on cap. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and see you guys in my next video. Peace out. I hope my neighbor didn't see me right now because I heard some footsteps. That would have been really awkward because I was in the living room, like, <laughs> with the camera, but yeah. Seriously, see you guys in my next video. See you on the flip side. Peace out.